Hey guys, Dave Northeast Edible. We are looking at some new blueberry plants that are just transplanted into the ground here. You can see I'm using cardboard. You can see these, these things are tiny. They're uh, like two feet tall. Most of them have a couple branches on them. Uh, some even have flowers. You can see some flowers there. Some flowers here. Uh, a few down the line too. Um, so there's what six plants here. We're putting this. This is a uh, one little row that we're extending our planting on. Uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, there's a couple bigger ones. I did a video earlier that I kind of used for <clears throat> a lot of my propagation material. So if I know a lot of people when they get onto a property, they want to plant. A hundred things, a thousand things right away, plan everything right away. So what I did is I got to my property, I got a few things of of a lot of different varieties, and blueberries was one of them. I got I think I got like four varieties um, that I enjoyed, and I grew those out till they were big plants, and then I used that material for for plant for propagation, uh, for mainly with blueberries, softwood cuttings. Um, so that really helps keep the cost way down. If you want to buy these blueberries, uh, I sell these for $10 and the bigger ones for $30. So um, you can see, you know, the, in this little strip right here, and I've got a couple more that I'm going to plant in these strips here, that really adds up. So that would be $60 of plant material that uh, you would either purchase right away or if you, you're willing to wait a couple years, buy $60 worth of plants, um, you know, buy six $10 plants first thing when you get there, let them grow out till they're large and then use, get some knowledge and use some, uh, some propagation skills to make more plants. That's a great way to transform your homestead. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time, but it's a great way, great economical way to, to go from, from a few plants to a ton of plants. Um, the reason I bring this up, I am working on planting out my whole homestead in in uh, tr perennials, bushes, fruit trees, and I didn't just do that overnight. So I, I you know, I built up stock of peach trees, pear trees, grafted, um, did cuttings w when it was appropriate, and and uh, you know, if you try to plant out even an acre with trees and, and bushes, you know, you're looking at thousands of dollars. So what I did and what I recommend is just get, get some plants when you first start. doesn't matter how many, just get a nice variety and use that, grow that up and use that to propagate more of your own plants. So um, take a look at what I'm doing here. These are um, about two years old, what I did from softwood cuttings. I'm throwing cardboard down here because as a, in what I did in an earlier video, you can see all that grass there really got out of control in one of my patches of blueberries. So I'm using cardboard. I'm going to throw a ton of mulch over top of it, some wood chips, and hopefully that cuts down with, uh, with the grass. I, what I also like to do is plant some comfrey and some strawberries right around here. And I'm trying to establish a strawberry ground cover um, and hopefully it outcompetes this grass. So we'll see that uh, that's a long-term prog process and we'll see how it turns out years down the line but Dave Northeast Edible grow some your own or grow your own and then uh, propagate your own plant material if you can and if you have the time it uh, will save you a ton in the long run have a great day guys